Last video, we made a designated shield surfing shield. There are eight unique minecarts in the game. Three of them are forbidden. The game tries to stop you from fusing them to anything. We need to have them. Did you forget collector's anxiety? Two of those three can be missed completely, never to be seen again. The collector's anxiety has set in, and it's time to cure it. Elsenia6297 gives us the best way to obtain the red minecart. Prerequisites Complete the Goron City Regional Phenomena. Complete the Beginner, Intermediate, and Death Mountain Minecart Land courses, obtaining the Goron Fabric. Here's what to do. Collect enough bows to fill up your bow inventory. Travel to the top of Death Mountain and start Kabeta's minigame. Uh, yeah. Pop at least eight balloons and don't break any bows in the process. Once the minigame is done, he will attempt to reward you with another bow asking you to make some space for it. Now's your chance to fuse it! What are you doing to my cart? Unfortunately, he can still see you. But not if you take it all the way to the depths! You are likely to fail and lose it on the way down, though. If that happens, just reload the autosave you got at the end of the minigame. Then you're free to try again. Get it down to the bottom whichever way you like. All you need to ensure is that you're close enough to it when it passes through the depth's loading barrier, or else it'll disappear right when it reaches it. It's a bit of a fun puzzle for you to solve. The way I decided to do it was to fuse it to a hover stone with a control stick. Drop it down gently to at least the first magma rock. Jump and shoot to turn it on without controlling. Detach the minecart, recall it close by, and then quickly fuse it to the shield. Red minecart obtained! Next, we have the Rock Pillow Minecarts. Mota's classic style minecart with a rock pillow, and Dugby's modern style minecart with a rock pillow. If you've completed these NPCs' quests, you've lost your chance to obtain them. They disappear forever after that. I am told by Dashlink18 that if I happen to have 999 Zonai charges, or 999 large Zonai charges, Dugby and Mota will ask me to make room in my pouch, and letting me have their minecart. Dugby sets off to find Gorondia, and Mota is freed from the cave. I tried this with Dugby, and it didn't work. So we're gonna just steal the minecarts without helping either of them at all. Obit came to me with a very interesting method, which involves Furnison's special control stick. Furnison won't let us have it, so we're going to steal it. Prerequisites. You must not have completed Mota's and Dugby's quests. Complete the Master the Vehicle prototype quest at the Terrytown racetrack. Obtain auto build, have a shock emitter, have a dragon part, and have at least six zonite. Go to the big swirly shrine. You know the one. Attach this propeller to the electric motor. Go to the Terrytown racetrack. Take this cart and drop your shock emitter. Attach the shock emitter to the center of the cart pointing up. Auto build the electric motor propeller and stick it on top of the shock emitter, pointing the propeller forward. 
Grab Furnison's special control stick and put it on the other end of the cart, facing the shock emitter. Start the race with this vehicle, and behold as it makes you disqualify almost immediately. While Furnison asks you what the hell you just made, turn the camera and look behind you to see if your vehicle drove itself off of the wooden platform. If it did, go ahead and reject her. Then go to your vehicle and detach OUR special control stick. Just don't bring it back in range of the wooden platform. We need to bring our special control stick all the way to Death Mountain, and put it on whatever minecart we desire. You can use the special control stick in whatever auto-build vehicle you have saved. I'm going to use the reliable hover bike to get there. Once you reach your destination, start their quest if you haven't yet. Detach our special control stick and put it on the minecart you want as well as a dragon part. The dragon part will keep the minecart spawned for up to 2,000 meters. This knowledge is courtesy of me! I made it well known and everyone uses it, I'm important! Leave the minecart there, and head back to the Terrytown racetrack. Do not teleport or enter any other loading screen. Auto-build another one of your vehicles if it's convenient. Once there, talk to Furnison. She'll recognize we made a wonderful vehicle. Tell her you would love to race with it. Psych! Jump off of it immediately after the race begins. Reject her again. Detach everything from the minecart. And now's your chance to fuse it! Never mind, we're going back to the depths. Turn the minecart into a car. Use the control stick over here. And also put a stabilizer on it for later. Make your way to the East Akala Plains Chasm. And if you have your stabilizer, you should be good to just go in. Drive away from the sprocks, detach the minecart, and now it is YOUR minecart! You have now cured the collector's anxiety. We are free! Do the same thing for the other rock pillow minecart if you want both. Go subscribe to the people who came up with these methods. Their channels are in the description. Buh bye now.